Hi, it's Vicky here and uh, today I will showcase the August card kit by Simon Says Stamp. But first let's take a quick look on what's inside the card kit. First of all, there is uh, this nice uh, little package of uh, confetti mix which is by Martha Stewart. And I really love that it has uh, little stars, hearts and uh, different shapes. It's not only just uh, round uh, shapes. Also there is this uh, set of puffy stickers which is by October Afternoon. I like that uh, there is a nice uh, summer uh, stamp set and uh, it comes also with uh, one of those Simon Says Stamp exclusive uh, sleeves for storage and uh, you can see how nice and tidy now this looks. Uh, there is also a Sakura jelly roll pen and uh, it is silver. You also get these uh, three-dimensional adhesives as well as a uh, pattern paper which is by Simple Stories. It's, uh, it has a nice uh, summery theme. And uh, finally you get uh, a lot of uh, cardstock papers and uh, they really complement uh, the colors of the pattern paper and I really love how shiny they are. Uh, finally there is a nice uh, thin die that cuts out the word sunshine. So let's get started with today's card. I am going to have to sacrifice the back of this uh, wooden pattern paper but uh, I really love to have this as my background. So I have created a, a top folding card from uh, the white cardstock that was in the set and now I'm going to stick uh, this pattern paper on top and I have made sure that this is uh, a slightly smaller than the standard card. I have also cut out this uh, lovely pattern paper and I am going to stick it down with three-dimensional uh, foam adhesive just to add a little bit of dimension on my card. As you can see, today I am going to create a quick and easy card and I am going to show you how you can make a card without even having to stamp anything. So I am going to use the saying on this pattern paper for my quote and uh, now I am going to use this uh, puffy sticker from the set and I am going to stick it where the rays come in the pattern paper so it will look af as if they come out of uh, the sticker. Now just because this comes out of the paper just a bit, I am going to add a little low, um, foam adhesive at the back so it is nice and leveled. And now the idea is to cut out little uh, tiny images from the pattern paper and create a cluster where the sun is. So I am going to use my scissors and cut out little bits and pieces and uh, at the moment I am cutting out a nice uh, strip of uh, colors. It has a cute little heart and it looks like a nice banner which I am going to use to embellish the top of my card. I have also cut out uh, this camera, a couple of uh, strips and I'm also going to cut out this van as well as the red heart from this uh, pattern paper. So once I have everything cut out I am going to create the cluster. And while I'm cutting th all those out, just to let you know that, as always, you can find the full list of all the supplies that I'm using just below the video in the details area if you're watching on YouTube, or you can find the full list of uh, supplies on my blog. There is also a giveaway running on my blog at the moment, so if you want a chance to win this card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog and enter your name. You will find the link to my blog just below the video if you're watching on YouTube. So as you can see, I'm uh, trying to create a cluster there to add uh, a little bit of embarrassment and uh, a lot of interest to my card. As a finishing touch, I am going to add a little bit of sparkle using the Sakura Jelly Roll pen that was included in the kit. So I am adding some uh, silver details where the camera is as well as on the van. And you will see that uh, at the moment I'm using my clear Wing of Stella glitter pen to add some uh, details on the van and uh, all over the heart. And I will switch again to my Sakura gel pen to add even more silver details. 
Finally, I will be using my white uh, gel pen to add a little bit of stitching on the panel. And this will conclude the card for today. I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Here are a couple of close-up photos of the card. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, make sure to do so because this is the way to tell me that you love my videos and you want to see more. Thank you all for watching.